What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for checking out my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed your day. Um, before I start this video, I just want to give a quick thank you to all the people who wished me a happy birthday. Um, I appreciate that. I took a couple of days off because I wanted to just relax and enjoy, and uh, now we'll bet back into our regularly scheduled program, even though there's nothing scheduled about it. All right, guys, I want to talk about something that I need people to think about. Now, obviously, when I make videos, I don't take the safe road. I don't take the easy road. I don't talk about what's always popular, what everybody views. My channel, basically, like I like to talk about things that most people will not touch because they're afraid to, basically. Um, it makes people think. It makes people look at alternative viewpoints. That's basically my channel in a nutshell. So I want people to think about something that we all take for granted, and that is our freedom. Now, I will be the first to say that in this country, United States of America Corporation, we have more freedom than other places. That is going to be very true. There are some places that you're going to be a lot easier, more easily persecuted, even murdered. So I'm not going to sit here and say that everybody's the same. There are going to be advantages in some places, disadvantages in other. So with that being said, I want people to really think about the word freedom. And do we really have it? Because if you think about it, the true sense of freedom is being able to do whatever you want, to go wherever you want, to be whatever you want. Now, how many of you out there, if you were totally free, and let's just, let's just make it easy. Let's say you, you won the lottery and you won a billion dollars. So pretty much now you're set for life and you could buy your way out and be totally free. Would you be doing what you're doing right now? In other words, would you still be at your job? Would you still do your obligations? Probably not. And, and let's put it in perspective. As far as freedom is concerned, I'm probably a little bit more free than the average person in the sense of I don't work a nine to five job. I don't work for a corporation. I don't have my money in a banking system. I don't have credit cards. Now, obviously, I'm not free, but I don't have as many restrictions. But make no mistake, even though the jobs that I have, being a karaoke DJ, being a licensed massage therapist, uh, doing my Oregon pyramids that I sell, my um, organic products that I make and sell, if I won the lottery tomorrow and I won a billion dollars to the point where I could never have to work again, as much as I love those things, I probably wouldn't do them anymore because there is still a form of obligation. Even though what I do is fun, I'm doing it because I have to have bills paid. That's what we all do. And if you think about it, even when it comes to the people that are in control, let's just take politicians. Do you think if, if they had total freedom... They would want to be putting on those suits and getting up at five, six in the morning and doing interviews and reviewing all that paperwork and you know going on TV and being hated on. How many politicians have been assassinated over the decades and centuries? How many leaders have been murdered or imprisoned or wronged? So if you think about it, even the people that are trying to keep us down, are they really free? Because they may have more freedom than we do. They, have, they may have more choices. Things may be easier. But they, do they really not see the chains that are even around their wrists? Where they're obligated to have to do things that in a true free society would never stop and even think about ever doing. So that is the illusion. Of freedom. Yes, in most places, you can walk wherever you want to go. You can have choices. But you still have to pay bills. You still have to give, you have to use your labor that we're basically forced to do. We're not really forced, but you know, if you want to eat, you want a place to live, you have to work to earn an income unless you find some way to manipulate somebody into letting you stay with them for the rest of their lives and they just take care of every need. So we have to get jobs. We have to pay bills. We have to give our labor and the money that we make 
and we have to give a percentage of it to someone else. When we cross a road, we have to pay tolls and taxes. Try taking all of your belongings and leave a country and watch how difficult it will be. How many people will ask you, where are you going? Why are you bringing this? What do you have? Is that really freedom? Because I can guarantee, in, in if you look at even just the Bible, where I'm not, and I'm not saying this is a real event, I'm just using it as a story, where God created Adam and Eve. He created Adam and Eve, but then he didn't create a tax shelter and a toll booth and a warehouse to work in. They were supposed to, in the story, be able to roam the earth freely, to go wherever they wanted, as long as they didn't harm anyone else. And we don't have that anymore. And I want people, even the ones that are in control, they're always answering to someone else on a higher level. Who knows how high that goes? But do you really think those people, I mean, look at some of these bankers that have been suicided, that supposedly committed suicide, like the one that supposedly committed suicide by shooting himself seven or eight times with a nail gun. Because, you know, when you want to commit suicide, you want to go the slowest, most painful way to die. I mean, really? These people were helping to make the system continually be corrupt. And look what happened. So even if you are a person like, for example, some of these trolls that go around trying to humiliate other channels, and they probably, I can't confirm it, but some of them, as far as rumors are concerned, get paid to do this. I cannot confirm this. And, of course, they're not going to do that either. But I guarantee you, they're paying bills. They're paying taxes. Their life is just as controlled as ours. So why would you want to help a system that encourages the downward pressure of the human race? So very few at the top have more and more privileges that we'll never see while we allow the system to continue the way it does. So the next time you want to ask a person, you know, thank God I live in the United States because we're so free. Ask him why is he paying taxes then? Why does he have to pay tolls? Why does he need a passport to leave the country? Why does he have to do things that the government, that other people say you have to do or what you're not allowed to do? You know, grow some marijuana leaves in your backyard and watch the government find out and watch how, how your freedom gets taken away. What gives someone else the right, as long as you're not hurting someone else, to tell you what to do, what not to do? how to do it, when to do it, feeds you information that benefits the very few. So uh, this is, like I said, my channel is about making people think. It's about getting people to see things that we take for granted. We all take our freedom for granted because we assume we're free. You have choices, Republican or Democrat. There are more people nominated for the um, Miss America pageant. There are more contestants in a Miss America beauty pageant than there is when it comes down to the choices of Democrat or Republican. And you saw when Ron Paul tried to get elected, how difficult it was for him to even get in there and challenge the others. But you think about it. Would you do, and leave this in your comments, if you want a billion dollars tomorrow, which basically would guarantee you're buying out your slavery, would you still work the job that you're working at? Would you still get up at the times that you have to? Would you still be obligated to do the things that we have to do while we're being suppressed? And so the trolls out there who potentially get paid to do this. Now, I don't know who does, and I'm not going to say names because I can't prove anything, so I'm not going to go there. But you think about what you're doing. If you're getting paid to do this, to try and stop truth for money, you're still, you're collaborating with the devil. Yeah, you'll make money. But money is not money, it's currency. And it's nothing more than debt. And until we all grasp that, we're not going anywhere. 
So this is not fear porn. This is not to bring people down. This is to get people to look at things as they really are. You know, there's an old saying that says, I once was blind, but now I see. And for the longest time, I didn't understand what that meant. But I know that now. And I hope one day you'll see the deeper meaning of what it is. Is that the world in front of you, you see it for what you perceive it to be. But you don't realize the underlying messages, the underlying symbolism, what's really going on in the world because we put blinders on and choose not to see it. Because it's easier. It's safer. It's more popular. And that's why, like somebody said, um, I forget the name of the subscriber, but they put a message that says, you know, why is it somebody like you only has about 10,000 subscribers, but somebody like PewDiePie has th over 33 million? It's because that's what's popular. That's what's easy. That's what's safe. You're not ruffling any feathers. What I talk about makes people think, puts things in perspective, puts a spoke in the proverbial wheel. And I think a lot of people are afraid of that. And that's why we'll always be part of this slavery system. We're just not in chains. Because when you're in chains, you want to escape. But when you're free to roam around, well, as much as they'll allow you to, you'll think you're free. But you're spending most of your life working to pay debt to someone else. Is that true freedom? It's because you're not in chains. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to hear the comments. Leave them professional. Leave them polite. Leave them kind. Stay away from the childish comments. We don't want that here. Anyone that leaves insulting childish comments gets blocked. And they can cry about it and baby it all they want. This is going to be, I want this channel to be for intellectuals. People that don't have to necessarily agree, but can disagree in a way that we can learn and discuss things like adults. Because if we keep going with the divide and conquer, where we all fight amongst ourselves, they're just sitting up at the top laughing at us counting our money that we worked for so they can take it from us. And for some reason, we allow it. Don't know why. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for watching. Peace.